so from this video we will start a new laravel series or a laravel based practical learning series wherein we will create a project using laravel and it will be an end to end project right from the database to the internal coding whatever is required we will do it as well as the front end part so this will be a complete package of uh, laravel you could say so it is a practical oriented learning so firstly the topic that we will be covering here or you can say the project that we will be doing here is movie booking system or you can say movie ticket booking system okay so before we get to the project first we will create the project okay so for that purpose i have opened the prompt here so what i will do is I'll create a project and we'll be using laravel 8.5 and not laravel 9 because that will require php 8 and currently we are not opting for php 8 as of now okay so so laravel slash laravel and you can say call it movie booking and here simply you can say 8.5 so it will create the 8.5 version of this thing and we are good to go once it's done okay we are almost there yeah so let's just open up vs code for this thing and again that's taking too long so whenever you are doing any kind of laravel project the first thing that you need to do is make the changes in the env file or the environment file and copy the same changes into the env.example file because uh, sometimes whenever you put these files on git if you are not careful you might not transfer the env file onto git server so in such cases what you need to do is you have to keep a copy of env.example so that just in case you change your computer or you're working from a remote system you won't lose track of the env file okay so first thing that we need to do here is in this specific version there's something off or they have messed up something so like they have changed the db host to mysql in this case so uh, i'll fix that thing first and keep set it back to the local host and here what i will do is i will put my database name so what i will call it uh, movie booking db or m booking you can say movie booking db okay so simply i will name this thing movie booking db and what we'll do is for this video we'll completely skip over orm part so we'll be not using any kind of orm or anything we will be using raw queries throughout okay so before we get to this thing so here we have created a basic schema of this thing uh, first let's just create a schema for this thing so what we need to do is for a movie booking project or you can say there are we must first think of the entities that would be involved okay so initially if you think of the entities that will be involved so like the basic idea of constructing a database here is to think in an object oriented way so first thing that you need to think is about the actors in this thing so there will be someone who will be selling the tickets and someone that will be buying the tickets okay so these are the two parties and the tickets that will be sold that is another entity and tickets of which entity that is the movie okay so these are the core entities or you can say the core 
that we have identified so forth so what we will do is first let's just start creating tables so like we could do the er diagram and stuff but like let's just get it on the go like let's make some mistakes and then clear them whenever possible okay so like it's a like big bang project sort of a thing so like you're working directly on the production stuff and you fix bugs or encounter uh, you can say some issues and then you fix the bugs okay so we are using a very raw and naive approach you can say but yeah that's the kind of approach that we'll be using for this project so here the primary entity is the movie table so movie table it will have a movie id okay which will be a auto incremented key in this case okay so like uh, let me put this uh, and if you're using like mysql the queries you might have to write on your own your if you're not using php my admin and you're using something like a workbench or something then uh, you might have to write some queries on your own yeah so that's it movie ID movie name so like movie name we could like uh, 100 characters okay uh, uh, date of release could be a global parameter or you could have a local releases like uh, movies really as multiple places or multiple venues so like you could do that okay so yeah for now we could have like we could add parameters afterwards for now the first thing that we need is the movie id the movie name okay uh, and then we could say something like uh, genre or something uh, like yeah okay so i guess these three parameters for now should work we could add more as required for, oh, i'm not thinking of those so like yeah so it automatically sets it to a primary key okay the second thing is the theater or the theater table it will have its own id theater id okay Theater name okay maybe address okay so like just keeping it simple okay we can add any more attributes as required okay let's just okay auto incremented and this is also primary key okay so movie table theater table and now what we have to do is shows table okay movie playing this show at the theater okay so we could have that shows table Shows movie, uh, sorry, movie theater. No, sorry, shows TVL ID. Okay, uh, what we could do is let's just auto increment this thing, and here we'll need the two foreign keys that we created one is the movie ID, okay, which movie is being shown, and in which theater. There is a theater already and at what time so here what you could do is uh, show time okay show times uh, date time and I guess 
we are good to go okay so one final part of the equation that is the ticket table but before we create a ticket table first we need to have a user table okay to create a user table what we should do is create a user table and add uh, here what we will do is I will take some alternate approach or you could say no let's not have it as a you can say integer but rather a character where care okay and here what I will do is I will have his phone number the user's phone number as the user ID and password he could choose anything that he wants to and after that uh, user ID uh, USR name maybe his real name you can say and uh, status user status because status is a kind of a reserved word so usually it doesn't fare well when you use it with uh, PHP my admin or something if you're using raw queries directly on you can say workbench or the MySQL console directly this status thing would not matter much you can name it status directly it should work and finally user status I will just it could be put it into like a single bit like active inactive or like three digits or something but I am keeping things very simple so I am using varchar here okay this is not the most optimal way to store things this way but yeah this is just for learning purpose and to make things easy for you guys so yeah so like uh, let's not put how to implement here and just take this primary key thing okay and uh, okay we are good to go we have added user id password username status okay and so show stable and we have mapped the shows here okay theater table so another thing that we need to add here is the ticket table okay but before ticket table there is another thing that is the theater venue map okay so like uh, if it's a single theater or anything then it could have like a fixed set of like 100 chairs or 300 chairs or something and if it's a multi screen or you can say what you call multiplex so it could have like 100 seats per screen and like four to five different screens or sort of a thing yeah so that could also be the case so what we'll do is initially we'll not consider that kind of complexity for now and in the upcoming versions we could add the facility for multiple theaters or you can say multiple seats and for the sake of simplicity what i would do is every theater would have the same seating capacity so like for the seating capacity i will not be having any guard as of now as in the initial database or tables that we're making will not have any constraint as of now but yeah surely we'll add those things but for now we'll just work on this data elements that we have received okay so so far this was uh, just an introduction in the upcoming videos we'll see more in detail in terms of the code and the front end as well as the back end integrations that would be required for this thing okay hopefully this will help you gain a good knowledge of laravel or how projects are being made and it should give you a kind of a kickstart that is necessary initially yeah thank you